If you suffer from unsightly and painful varicose veins, as well as heavy kind of tightness and even swelling in your legs because of vascular insufficiency or vein challenges. Friends, you are going to love today's video because I'm going to share with you a DIY therapy that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Stay tuned for this DIY video to remedy and resolve varicose vein pain, swelling, and discomfort. Welcome back friends, I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher and I'm so excited to have you join me today to talk about varicose vein treatments in the comfort of your own home. If you are new to my channel, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified of new video content. If you are watching and it's the time of COVID, I hope you will join me for my Natural Health News Live show that I host every morning at 9 a.m. So today is a follow-up to several videos that I've done about varicose vein treatments. Many of you regular viewers have expressed interest in learning more things that you can do at home that can help alleviate the pain, the swelling, the tenderness, and even the bruising of varicose veins. If you haven't done so already, I'm going to encourage you to check out my Natural Varicose Vein Solution Protocol. This is a downloadable guide it's basically a resource guide of all my recommendations put together and basically an ebook you can purchase on my website. I'll include links down below or can grab it up there. Most importantly, today's video is all about how to deal with varicose veins at home. I find that one of the least known therapies is utilizing castor oil or using what we call castor oil pack therapy. I've also produced video about castor oil pack. I'll include it there. You can link up above and watch it where I detail how you can utilize this to reduce breast tenderness and fibroids in your breast, as well as detox your livers, as well as remedy cysts and tumors in and around your ovaries and uterus for women. And it's great for men who have prostate challenges as well. So today I want to share with you how I use castor oil pack therapy to treat my one weird funky little calf varicose vein that has been giving me a lot of grief this summer. And one of the things to note, if you are dealing with humidity and the increase in temperatures outside, that can actually put more strain on your varicose veins, especially if you're active like we are and I'm chasing an almost five-year-old around, trying to do all the things that we do outside and maintain our home, and it can be really problematic. So I wanna show you what I do. Let's go. So I wanna share with you what I'm addressing. So I don't know if you can see that, but that is my vein that is problematic. And I sometimes get a little bit of the discoloration from the vascular, like through here. And it's really tight. And so a lot of times I notice when it gets tight, it gets painful. So this is me standing. And I wanted to share with you guys what this looks like. And so this is my one problematic vein. Um, but you can see through here, I have some discoloration and it's, there's a lot of fluid in there. So these are all the materials that I use for my castor oil packing. The most obvious being the heritage stone, the castor oil. This is a really good cold press, clean, high quality oil. And then we have the flannel that gets soaked. This, I'm going to add more castor oil. This will be what goes on my veins on my leg. Before I apply, I actually use the Happy Breast Balm Solution. I, if you're a regular viewer of mine, you know I love this. It has some amazing ingredients and I wanna share with you. Let's see, there they are. It has uh, coconut oil, it has hemp seed oil, but most importantly, it has magnesium oil and iodine, and then it has therapeutic grade essential oils, particularly if the frankincense as well as the lemongrass are really great vascularly. So I will apply this over my calf and then I let that soak in and then I do the wrap. Now, when I do the wrap, I actually have this whole setup here in my bedroom. So this is where I will lie. And I actually am using, this is remnants of uh, my baby breastfeeding days. 
but I will kind of prop some. This is my weighted blanket, by the way. And if you don't have weighted blankets, oh my gosh, they're amazing friends. I'll post a link down below. That is, that's changed my life in terms of sleeping. I sleep more solidly. But anyway, it works really well as kind of a prop. And so I will use this uh, specifically. I get this set up. I then will post my leg up here. I also have a, what we call medical, medical checks, but you can actually use puppy pee pads. Um, they're actually cheaper than the medical version. You can buy those online. Um, and then I use, this happens to be my gel pack. I, this works really well because I can wrap it across my leg. I have a multitude of these warmed. You can microwave them and it heats up their, these little gel balls. So I use that. And then to keep the uh, wrap on my leg, I use plaster wrap. And uh, this is, uh, just wrap it up. And I'll show you here in a demonstrative form. But these are all the items that I use when I castor oil pack. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to add some more castor oil. And this is a, um, a reusable flannel. And I just kind of mush it around. You don't need it too dense with moisture, but you definitely want it to be something where it's saturated but not dripping. So it's this kind of fine line. And so I swirl it around and then, um, I also want to share that I keep this in the refrigerator. And so I usually will set it out to get it to room temperature. So it's not too cold and uncomfortable, but, um, this is reusable for at least one to two months, kind of depend on, on the frequency of your castor oil packing. And I will use this also for my liver and over my breasts. And if you're curious about how to use castor oil for your breasts, I have a whole breast care, booby care course that you can take a look at. So there's links down below in that. But that is as saturated as you want to get it. And then I'll show you how to do a castor oil pack for your veins. So now I'm going to apply the happy breast balm on my right calf. That's my problematic, uh, vein. I have one really funky, irritating, and sometimes painful varicose vein. And the Happy Breast Balm, I just love. So I just apply it liberally all over the space. Um, I also wear comfortable clothing. Usually it's gym clothing that I don't care if I ruin it with maybe a little castor oil, but it's also comfortable for relaxation. Just rub that all in. And then next I take my castor oil pack and I fold it. So this is, this is a really long sheet. This is the flannel that comes with your castor oil kit. And I have materials and supplies if you want to check those out down below. Position it around the leg. Now my area um, is on the inside. So I want to make sure that I'm targeting that. Um, and then I will wrap this leg. And I just really kind of scoop it up here. It doesn't have to be too tight, but you want it to be uh, positioned where the pack is against the skin. And so sometimes if you have some mobility challenges, you might want to ask one of your loved ones in your house to help you, but it's very easy to do. And then next up, I'm going to position my leg up here. I am going to get myself situated. A lot of times I'll just do work while I am castor oil packing, but what I do, this is my hot pack. It's hot. I don't know if you can tell, but a lot of times it gets puffy with air from the heat and I will just wrap this around. So it's positioned in a way where the main area is behind my calf, the back of my calf um, is going to be affected. And usually I will do a castor oil pack for about 15 to 30 minutes. It depends on my time. Right now it's Sunday morning and I'm by myself. So we're gonna do 30 minutes. So I'll share with you what it looks like. And there you have it. So I've got my leg elevated. I've got some back support, and now I'm going to do some video editing for all of you. So here's my castor oil pack perspective you want to see. I have a medical check here, and then I also have one down below. So I kind of cover all bases. If you are first, if it's your first time using castor oil, it can get a little messy. So that's why I take precautions. But I have the pack that starts right below my knee and goes just above my ankle. 
and this is my heat pack. And I just have my leg elevated and positioned where the main trouble spots right through here are getting heat and just it's super comfortable. And okay, so now I'm all done and I'm going to remove my heat pack on my nightstand. And one of the things I wanna share with you, this is why I have the medical check. There's a little oil that seeped out from the bottom. And what I do is I just unwrap it and it already feels a whole lot um, softer. Just, I can, I can feel like the lymphatic drainage. So I fold this and I put this back in the glass and then I'll cap that and put it on the refrigerator or in the refrigerator. And then what I do, I'll just do a gentle massage just to kind of feel it's just, it's amazing what this does. Um, you have two choices here with the oil. A lot of times I will leave this on depending on what I'm doing during the day because it's the weekend. I have no plans of wearing you know, fancy clothes or working or being in a setting where I don't want oil on my legs. Um, but I will just massage this in and go about my day or you can wipe it off. The first thing that you want to do is you want to use your medical check or your little pee pad thing and remove the oil. And then um, the best way to get the oil out is through warm water and baking soda. So just like two or three tablespoons of baking soda, it's about a cup of water in a rag and you will just wipe that off and it will get rid of the stickiness. That's also a hint. If you do get it on materials, baking soda and water will remove the oil. Um, but it definitely does feel a lot better. The vein is always, it's always visible for me, but it's not sticking out. And this just is so much more palpable. Uh, so it's pretty amazing with what it does um, in terms of just really reducing a lot of the pain that I experience. I was been getting a little bit more pain in here. So the palpability is really critical. It just feels a lot softer through the calf. And then honestly, what I do is I will put my compression wear. So I use Juzo Soft, their compression uh, leggings. They stop right here and I will garden with them. I'll be outside, but that just really helps support that vein so that for the rest of the day, it keeps the fluid um, out of that area. It just also supports that vascular channel. So I'll post links down below for that. As so well. I hope you found this helpful. I'll be very honest with you. This is so easy. It's under $20 to get all these items together. If you don't want to buy the flannel that I use, that's part of the kind of kit. And I have links down below. We sell these in my full script store, which by the way, if you do purchase any items through the links down below, that totally supports my channel. And I'm so grateful. It allows me to bring you more free content that's going to help you live healthier, happier lives. And especially for you dealing with vein challenges that can actually progress to even stages of early lymphedema. So definitely you wanna make sure you address your vein health right away and stay on top of it, even during the winter months or times where you experience a reduction in the swelling and the visibility of your veins. And if you want more thorough help, I'm going to encourage that you download this protocol that I've put together for you. It's very descriptive, extremely powerful. And I, for one, know the impact of this protocol. I use it because I am dealing with some vein challenges. This is post-pregnancy body. I swear our bodies never really go back to 100% the way they were before. And if you are like me, dealing with vein challenges post-baby, this protocol will be helpful as well as deploying this DIY therapy. Thanks for tuning in friends. Again, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, comment down below with any questions, and I will see you on our next video.